This is where every top-level footballer wants to be after a long season. The Champions League final. Only two teams left in the battle for Europe's Premier Club competition. My name is Derek Ray, and I'm joined for commentary on this final tonight by Stuart Robson. It's Paris Saint-Germain up against Ajax. Well, what a night, Derek. Two great teams, a perfect pitch, a magnificent stadium, and millions watching around the world. What more could you ask for, apart from maybe different commentators? Well, certain players just know instinctively how to lead a line, and Sebastian Allaire falls in that category. Stuart, what do you anticipate seeing from him today? Well, Derek, goal scorers thrive on confidence, and he's certainly got an abundance of that at the moment. Four goals in the last three games. Every time he gets the ball, he looks like he's going to take a chance. He's in outstanding form at the moment. And here is the initial 11 for Paris Saint-Germain. Gianluigi Donnarumma is the keeper. Sergio Ramos plays alongside Marquinhos in central defence. Jorginho Wijnaldum plays alongside Marco Verratti in the engine room. And handed the task of playing up front today is Kylian Mbappe. And the starting 11 for Ajax. Well, it's the same formation, but they use it to press the ball high up the field. And rarely do the wide players drop deep to defend. And watch out for the midfield three who continually rotate their positions. And they're underway now in the Champions League final. We're about to find out which team is the best in Europe. Did well to win the ball back. Marquinhos. Verratti. Now what can Paris Saint-Germain do from this position? And Neymar. Game. Well, I think you could call that an escape. It looked a certain goal. Oh, wonderful bit of skill. Tadic. Gives it a go. And the keeper flings himself at the ball. So the corner played into the box. That's very decisive goalkeeping. And no nonsense defensive clearance. Running with the ball confidently. Allaire. Decent position. And a promising looking attack, but comes to nothing in the end. Verratti. Here's Mbappe. Neymar. Gay. Edson Alvarez. 
doing well to keep possession. Alvarez now. Ajax pushing forward with options available. Can he give them the lead? Oh, crucial tackle. Brilliant. Messi looking for the through ball. Well, it didn't happen for them in attack. Mbappe. Useful looking ball. Verratti. Plays it back. Verratti. Can they forge ahead? And the keeper will happily collect that one. And teammates to play it to. However, a well thought out piece of defending. Given away by Ajax. Very quick thinking there. Looking for that final pass. Looking for the goal that would put them ahead. Grafenberg. It's with Berghaus. Oh, now, Alain! And how about that for a save? Jorginho Wijnaldum. Now can they make something happen? Gay. And return to Mbappe. And Neymar. Verratti. Now Messi. And pull back. Verratti. And a chance for them to notch in front. Oh, there it is! The opening goal. It falls for Paris Saint-Germain. And it could be oh so significant. Well, here's the replay, and it shows how patient they were in the build-up. Just so assured, waiting for the right moment. And the movement is good, making for a comfortable finish. It's a really great goal. do it for the first half here at the Estadio Metropolitano. Into the second half then, in this battle for Champions League glory. Idrissa Gay. Verratti now. Showing patience as well as persistence in the build-up. Will he play it in? Hakimi. And giving the ball away. You've got to keep the ball a bit better than that. Jorginho Wijnaldum. Idrissa Gay. On to Messi. And slipped through beautifully. Great challenge, he got nothing but ball. Dusan Tadic. Grafenberg. And so 30 minutes left for play in this one. 
Chance to play it in. Tadic. Idrissa Gay. Mbappe with it. Neymar. Take it away. And the counter looks on here. Options available. All hands on deck. Moving the ball nicely. Trying to carve out the equaliser. Well, possession seeded. Oh, lovely weighted ball. They might be in. Wijnaldum. Now Neymar. Can he convert? And a goal to increase the lead in this final. Will they be stopped now? Well, I have to say, this is a really good goal. Just look how well balanced he is. He knows he's going to be under pressure, but he shows great composure to hit the target. So 2-0 now. Ryan Grafenberg. In possession given away. This might be the perfect counter-attacking opportunity. Wijnaldum. Might be a chance here. In it goes to rubber stamp it once and for all. Well, here it is, 1v1 against the keeper, and the outcome was never really in doubt. He never looked like missing that. Substitution it is for PSG. goals without reply and the counter attack is on options available oh big chance oh and that is an audacious chip well he might smile the goalkeeper has no interest in smiling. Well, let's see this again. This is counter-attacking football at its very best. And then just take a look at this, Derek. He sees the keeper off his line, and it's such a classy finish. Just lifts it over him. Beautiful goal. there were any lingering doubts about the outcome surely they now have been removed Mazraoui it's with Berghaus Alvarez now and we will have a couple of additional minutes at the end here Mazraoui Full-time, Parisian pride shines through. PSG have cleared the final hurdle in the Champions League.
Well, just look at the emotions out there. Joy and relief on one side, despair and heartache on the other. But we've got the right winners here. They fully deserved it on the night. For these players, well, it's the night of their lives. And they're determined to enjoy every millisecond. Well, they have to make the most of this, don't they? It's a great feat. What an achievement from them. Well, they don't need to be reminded about what comes next. It's the presentation of the coveted Champions League trophy. Well, there's some tired players out there, but what you can be sure of, they'll find some energy when they get their hands on the trophy. They'll be going mad in the next few moments. The Champions League winners, Paris Saint-Germain. Well, this is what they wanted. What a moment for these players. They've worked so hard to win this trophy. They've been fantastic. And you can feel the emotion. It's natural to reflect on this final, but so much hard work has gone into the entire campaign. Memories, memories. What would a celebration be without the chance to enjoy it with your own supporters? Well, these fans have certainly played their part, haven't they? They'll savour these moments. They've travelled far and wide to follow their team. They're loving every minute of this, and why not? They deserve it. A performance of fire as well as ice. They held their nerve when that was necessary. And these celebrations will run long into the night.